Hey you guys, it's Megan. I am going to do another episode, video, whatever, installment of my bedroom overhaul series and I am even totally, totally embarrassed to show you this, but I have to organize and deal with my vanity and I'm not sure if I'll get to my makeup collection today. But um, my vanity is out of control and it's been out of control for months, but I haven't wanted to deal with it, but I need to because it is absolutely insane. And my vanity and where I get ready um, and do my makeup and stuff is a place that I would like to be organized or at least... Um, better than it is now and try not to judge me too hard but this is my reality and um I want to change that so I'm going to show you guys the process of it like I've been doing in my other um bedroom overhaul videos and you guys seem to really like it which I think is awesome and um I'm still gonna like keep going around my room but today I want or tonight I really want to do my vanity and see how far I can get on this because it once was really nice and organized and I just piled stuff on top of it and now it is no longer nice and organized. So let me just turn you guys around and back up and show you. So this is where I sit to film. There is my tripod. There's me. Um, and you guys have probably seen this if you have seen my makeup collection. Um, so I have all the stuff out that I did for today's video. I did my weekly repeats and reviews, and so that is all over the place. I also have all of this that I haven't organized, which this is like one of the main issue areas. Um, also I have stuff here. I have, this is my empties, um, but then I have my nail polish down there, but you can't even see it. I have all this stuff piled. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's, it's embarrassing and, um, it needs to be dealt with, like I said. So I'm just gonna try to tackle this. I'm gonna start in a smaller area and then progress through my vanity and we can see how far we can get today. So this area here, um, is where I keep my perfumes and... As you can see, I only have two perfumes now, my Vince Camuto and my Justin Bieber, which I think I'm going to throw out. But I have piled all this other stuff. I like to keep my tissues back here, so I want to keep those there. But my curtains are, like, in the way of it, so it, like, pushes them forward. So let's see if we can fix that. That should be better, even though it doesn't look very good. Um, and I want to keep my perfumes here. Um, and then I have little samples of them and these are two things that I was trying to sell no one has bought them so they are just sitting here because I don't know where else to put them but I think I'm going to put them in my um ottoman which is right there so I'm going to just set these here so I know that I want to put those over there and then here I have two um of these Revlon like nail appliques and I actually have another one and I'm not sure where it is. I think it's still in my stuff from school. But these should really go with my nail polish and not just be sitting here. So I'm going to put these with my nail polish once I dig out that area. Oh, and then I also have this. This is um, oregano oil that my one roommate gave me as a present. But I haven't used it and I don't really know what to do with it. I think I'm going to actually put it in my bathroom because it's not doing me any good here. And maybe I can figure out um, what I can do with this. And if you guys have ever used oregano oil, let me know. She told me that it's like a natural a antibiotic or something like that. So maybe you guys will have some ideas. So that has to go in my bathroom. And let's see what the disaster is down here. And it is quite a disaster. Oh, and so these were also there. These are my... Um, like my YouTube notebook so I have my project use it up here and then I like make lists of ideas um in both of these notebooks so both of these are important to my YouTube and I like to have them here because it's easy access but it just doesn't look good so um maybe I can think of something 
to put them in that looks good but is more organized. Maybe I can actually put them in my makeup drawers. Um, I'm just going to set them there for now. This down here is actually a huge issue because I organized my nail polish, which is back here, and I have some um, paper towels. These are my empties, so that's important for me to keep out. I like to have them here. This magazine I've had there for like months. This should just be recycled. And then I have like melter things for my warmer, which I don't even use, so I'm not sure what to do with these. Um, and then I have so much nail polish. Here's some self-tanner that shouldn't even be there. So we'll have to find an organization spot for that. And then I have, see all this stuff? Oh my god, you guys. So I have so much nail polish. I have nail polish all down here. I have it in here. I have it in this bag. I have this little kit that Sam gave me. Um, here's a Sephora bag that can be thrown out or recycled. Okay, so here's a little storage thing that I can use to organize. Um, let me move this lamp, which I don't even think that lamp works anymore. Um, I just keep, like, bags, and there's no reason to do that because clearly I don't use them. So I'm just going to put these things that can be recycled in this bigger bag to get those out of the way. Here's the plastic bag that I can use for trash. So I can put that over there. Okay, I have boxes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is becoming even a bigger issue than I thought. Okay, I'm going to start over here, but we might have to go over into this corner. So this is so cute. I love this. I love Hello Kitty. But I have nowhere to put this and it's so cute and it has like a little art kit inside but I think that I should just donate this and maybe like a little kid can have it. So even though it's so cute and I want to keep it, I probably should just get rid of it. So that's really hard for me but clearly I'm not using it. Oh, here is another thing that, what's this? Oh, here's some Essie nail strips. Let's put those with the Revlon ones. And, and this, this is doing me a lot of good. Dictionary on the floor. Um, obviously, I have a dictionary because I'm a scholar. And I need a dictionary to look up really big, fancy words. But I'm not using it, so I shall put it somewhere with my books over there. Okay. Here's a hair tie. I used to have a spot to put all my hair ties. Um, actually, I put them next to my bed which also is a project I want to deal with. So let's just put that there for now. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, more nail polish stuff up here. That shouldn't even be up there. Um, okay, so here's all of my nail polish. And I think that I should go through this and um, figure out what I can get rid of, which I've done before, but... I think I need to do it again because I want all my nail polish to either just fit in this or to fit on this, like, bottom shelf. That would be really ideal for me, and I would really like that. So, I think I have to go through my nail polishes, and, um... I've gotten rid of so many nail polishes in the past year, but I clearly need to go through them again because I, this is insane. So, um, let me just set my camera on the tripod and then we can go through this. So before I deal with my nail polish, I need to get rid of these boxes because I can't, I don't even have space to like stretch out. And these are just empty boxes. Look at all that. Oh my God. Okay, so those are just empty boxes. This is my DVD binder, which is like my pride and joy. But it doesn't have a space to live because it's just so giant. Um, I think I'm just going to move this stuff. This is stuff from my desk, but I also don't know where to put this because where do you put like extra parts for a desk that's like put together? 
But I'm going to set this here. Yeah, that's when you know you have a problem if stuff falls down when you're trying to organize other stuff. Okay. So this is the corner I think I have to deal with first. This is like stuff that I try to keep here as like um, packing because I like to have packing stuff all combined. Also, this pillow can go with the Hello Kitty. Okay, what's this? This is a bunch of little magazines that can also be recycled. Okay. Okay, so this is like packing stuff boxes can go downstairs because we have a whole spot for boxes oh that's where that is you guys literally i've been looking for this forever and here's my bag that i used to put my empties in but i thought i lost it oh that's great okay well it's not missing i thought like someone stole it from me that is actually an issue okay like i said i don't really need boxes like here so these and go downstairs and I do like having stuff like when I do swaps here's like a wine bag that I don't need um so I like having this stuff accessible but um it just shouldn't be like out here I should put it like in my closet which there's nowhere to put it now but um it's in this giant Sephora bag how funny is that there's like a ton of more magazines Oh, I should never subscribe to magazines anymore. Um, so these can all be recycled. Okay, so this is all packing stuff. Oh, there's like photo frames down there. Cards. Here's a box that should go in there. This bag can be recycled. Here's my remotes. That's a good spot for them. And some more hangers. Just randomly. That's normal. Okay. Put them with a huge other pile. Um... I'm pretty sure this lamp is broken because I tried to use it um, when I was at school and it didn't work. So I think that I just need to throw this out, which makes me feel really bad. But it's broken, so. Um, these I want to donate. So let's put, let's find a bag. Okay, so this is all like here um these are like organizer things that i use and i just like keep them this is super cute this is, um like a hello kitty like a uh, dry erase board that i used to keep in my room maybe i should hang it up i don't know i like can't part with things it's like so hard for me um okay so i'm gonna find spots for those and then, like I said, these are organization things, which maybe I can use for my nail polish. So now, um, I'm going to try to go through my nail polish and see what I can get rid of.
Okay, oh my god, you guys. This is all the nail polish that I'm getting rid of. This whole shoe box is full. Um, I also found this that I'm going to put in my purse. It's just like a to-go nail polish remover pad, so I'm going to put that in my purse. And then these are the cotton squares that I've been trying to use as my um, nail polish thing, and I actually put them in this small thing. So I can put this um, in my ottoman, so then when I need to refill it, I can just put them in there, and then it's easy access. And so what I did is I put... Um, all of my nail appliques in this box in addition to like nail fi files and then my base coat and my nail polish remover and just like um like decoration things so i put this on the shelf with my perfumes and it gave me much more room down here and so what i did was i separated my nail polishes into four baskets and so i have um like my signature colors in this front one so like darks and nudes and then some other colors that i basically always reach for and then in this one to the left i have just um blues and purples and greens and then in this one on the right i have all of my like glittery so any glitter colors any color black white red pink yellow whatever i have them all in there and then in this front one i have my corals pinks reds and like pastel colors so i really downsized as you can see so i'm going to pass these on to my sister and then um i always show caitlin my nail polishes so she can have them or her sister can um so I am going to put that in my purse. Like I said, that is good. My empties bin, I always keep it here. And it's fine for me, but I feel like I should put it over here. So it's like less in the walking area. And now I actually can put it there because I don't have all that crap. Um, And so that, let's just back up and see. I cleared out a lot of this area. And then I have my nail polishes in this thing, and um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this right now, but now that's empty, and so I have another organization thing, so that is awesome. And I need a better system for, like, my bags for trash, because that corner needs to be dealt with. But I have, like, nowhere to put my bags that I use, like as my trash bags so um i'm gonna put these extra cotton squares in should i put them in here i think i'm going to put them up here in this top drawer and i can make some room for them Let's see if i can get this out of the way fill up my q-tip thingy okay so in here i have like a mishmash of stuff and i had it organized before isn't that like a theme this was all organized before and now it's not and i have like cards and stuff which i have two cards on my dr dresser that i want to put i want to put these somewhere and this is like the only like safe spot that i can think of but I have like all sorts like all the things that Sam has put on um in my stuff and I just feel bad because I don't know where to put them and then I have like hand sanitizer let's see if I can get my tripod to do this better okay so maybe that's easier for you guys to see but I just have like some of these things I reach for all the time, but other things I don't. Like these band-aids. Oh my gosh, there's only two band-aids in here, and I have this whole box. Um, so I can put band-aids in this full box. And this stuff I reach for a lot. Um, like tape and scissors. I literally have three hand sanitizers and I never use them here. I need to put one in my purse. I'll leave one here. No, but literally I never use them. So where sh where can I put them? I will find a way, find somewhere to put them. 
These I use sometimes and I do reach for them here. This I never use. I never use that at all so that can get thrown out. I have um, medicine. That's good. I have this nail polish that Sam sent me in here because I never use it but I want to keep it so I'm not sure what to do with that. Eye drops and one of my hairs and put eye drops in there. And I have this cool makeup pen but I should probably put this in my like travel stuff because that makes more sense than having it in here. So I'm going to put this in my travel stuff. And so I usually keep my Q-tips, my extra Q-tips in here. And now I'm going to put my um, extra nail polish remover pads in there. And I think that that's good for this drawer because I know that all these things are supposed to be in there. Um, I'll put my band-aids in here as well. So that is what I'm going to keep in my top drawer because I think that'll work for me. And yes, I just need to figure out a place to put these cards and stuff because I don't want to lose them and one of the things that I do want to reorganize is my closet which all of my like sentimental stuff is in there and I need a better way to organize it so that's one of the things that I want to tackle but now I want to do um, the top of my vanity because now I have this organized and I feel really good about it so I feel like I want to do this mess next and here's another nail polish that I already have something like this so I'm going to pass that on and um yeah so I'll just work across the vanity and see how I can organize all this <laughs> 